Okay, take the wires, cut the wires, and then we gotta make sure we strip the ends of the wires, okay? You want about half an inch, like that, on each end. Okay, and then what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up doing the same thing we did last week. Remember how, remember how we had to take the red end of the wire and attach it to the long pole of the LED and then wrap it in electrical tape? That's what we're gonna do. So here's, here's my long end. That's my positive end, so I'm gonna use my red wire as my positive wire and we're gonna wrap it around. And then if you bend this up a little bit, it'll help keep it from slipping off. And you should be able to tug on it. And you wanna make sure it's nice and wrapped, okay? Like that. And then we're gonna take a little piece of electrical tape. Okay. And you wanna wrap that up so that the wire that's attached to the positive end of the LED is nice and tight and wrapped up. All right, I'm gonna stop here for a second and check in on you, Zoe, you doing okay? Okay, good, good, good. Now, you're gonna do that for both of your LEDs, okay? So we're gonna do red on the positive end and then we're gonna do black on the negative end and then you're gonna do that for the, for the other LED as well. So here I'm gonna take my black twist it around like that and then I'm going to bend this little part up towards the LED like so give it a tug so it won't won't come loose Do the same thing here, wrap it up with a little tape, electrical tape, keep it insulated, okay? All right, and then that's our first one. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing for the second LED. Take two pieces of wire, one red, one black, about six inches. Actually, and if you want, you can hold these up next to the one that you already made to get them to be, boom, exactly the same length. And I'm just gonna cut right there on the edge of my previous wires. Okay. Put this LED here. And then we're gonna strip these two. All right. Again, red is gonna go to positive, the long end of the LED. OK, 
Okay. And then black wire. Like so, and then again, bending it up, making sure the wires and the two poles don't touch each other. Okay, and then two pieces of tape to wrap them up. Wrap them up. Wrap them up. Now we got two LEDs like this. Those are gonna serve as our bug eyes. And I'm gonna lay these down, move these over here and leave them like that. And then I'm gonna come check on you, Zoe, and see how yours is going. All right, you have both of them? Okay, good, good. Now, here's what you wanna do. Take your coin battery again, cause we wanna make sure that they're still connected. Take your coin battery and make sure that the light comes on after we've connected them Okay, so that's one. Okay, all right, good job, good job, all right. And then let's do the other one. Okay, both of them work. Both of yours are good, all right, good job. <laughs> all right, now, I'm gonna move these little guys out the way so I can have some room to work. Okay, okay, so we were gonna make a switch um, out of the clothes pins. So if you look at this guy, all right, um, and since you don't have the clothes pins, we'll go ahead and we'll use uh, just a button. But I want to show you how to make it so if you ever get some clothes pins, you can make a switch, okay? All right. And so the best way to do that is to take your clothes pin, okay? And then you're going to take a red wire and a black wire. Get a red wire and a black wire. Okay, you got a red wire and a black wire, all right? And then you're gonna put the red wire on the end of the clothes pin that opens, like that. And you see the metal part that comes out of the red wire, you wanna bend it over and put it on the clothes pin like that and then close it, okay? And then you take a piece of electrical tape, and this is the tricky part, because you have to tape it, but you have to tape it in a way that the metal is exposed. So if you look real close, I'll take it here, and then I'm gonna take the tape and put it right towards the edge, and then wrap it around the top to keep the wire in place, okay? And then, you can take the black wire, and in this case, I got the black wire, and I'm gonna uh, strip it just a little bit more so I have a little bit more of the metal, the copper, to put over the edge. And then you're gonna take that, open it, bend it down. All right, oops, hold on. Bend it down. Okay. Close it. And then we're going to do the same thing with a piece of tape. Take that tape, put it in there just around the edge. 
all right? And then your two pieces of wire should come together like that. And then you take your coin battery, and you see I have my LED attached to it already. You take your coin battery, the top of your coin battery with the plus, that's the positive end, and open it up. And if you get it right and they touch each other, you got to switch. See? All right, cool. All right, so there's our switch, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the body of our first uh, inset, our first little circuit bug, and that's going to be the praying mantis. So uh, if you got some green and yellow, all right, and if you don't have green and yellow, it's fine. You can use different colors and make it whatever you'd like, but uh, we'll try the green and yellow to go for a, a praying mantis. Then you're going to need your popsicle stick, all right, okay, and then you're going to need your, your circuit eyeballs, all right, and then some tape okay all right so here's what we're going to do for the circuit eyeball so the first thing you're going to do is take your yellow or green whichever color you want to start with it's up to you and then you're going to wrap it around the eyeballs just a little bit and then cover up the black part of the tape and you should have a little bit sticking out like that okay and then you can leave the other end out like that okay and then you're going to take the other one and you'll put it next to it hold it sort of in a v like that use this end to come around and then start wrapping the other eyeball Okay, like so, and you're holding these two. And then when you're done and you have a little left over, you can just cut that off with your wire cutters, okay? And then close it, close it in. Okay. All right, you good? Okay, <laughs> I see you swinging it around. <laughs> okay. All right, now we're gonna do the body. So this will go on to this, okay, like that. And then we wanna secure it. So take a piece of tape, and secure it in place. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we can start working on the body of the praying mantis. And what we're going to do is we're going to use alternating green and yellow uh, to make the body of the praying mantis. Uh, if I'm going to use a lot of green in the front like this, what you can do is take two or three, put them together. Bend it down like this, and then just wrap them. Making sure you go over the loose end and making sure that you hold on to the wires with your thumb so they don't come loose. Okay, all right. And now if you can see here in the front, I got a little wood and a little bit of that showing. So I'm gonna take another green one and I'm gonna cover that up really well. Okay. And just twist and then cut that off, okay? All right. 
And then you can alternate with some yellow. So I'm gonna put a little stripe of yellow here behind my green. Again, you're gonna bend it over this way towards the front, going over it once to tuck those little sticky parts out, tuck them in, and then wrap it. Trying to make sure that it's nice and tight so none of your wires or your popsicle stick shows. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to take a green one and I'm going to put a little green in between these guys. Cut that. And put a little more green down here. Okay. And then I'll finish off. Here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take a green and a yellow, and then I'm going to do a green in between, I mean a yellow in between the two green. I'm gonna come down here. Take care. All right, and then do some green and yellow here. Now you can use whatever color combination you want. It's totally up to you. Um, you don't have to follow this one, okay? There we go. All right. Did you finish your whole body yet? Let me see. Oh, yours is. Oh, you're much faster <laughs> than I am. Okay. All right. All right. I'll catch. Let me catch up. Catch up. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. Now. You should have four wires at the end, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna chain, take both of the black wires and connect those black wires together and twist them together like this. And then take both of your red wires and do the same with your red wires. And then you should have them separate it like so. I'm going to put a little more green on mine. Okay. All right, and then you want to turn it over like that. So his eyes are kind of going that way. And now we're going to put the legs on this guy. All right, so. Uh, one, two of these. How many legs do we need, Zoe? How many legs does a praying mantis have? Six. Six. Six, okay, that's right, all right, all right. Because it belongs to what family? It is a... <laughs> I think it is an insect because it has... That's right, <laughs> that's right, sorry, that's right. it's an insect, yeah. All right, okay, all right, so we got our little guy here. All right, I'm gonna take these two. I'm gonna bend them in half like so so they're even and then cut them right in the middle okay that gives me four legs and then 
I'm going to need an extra one because I need six legs. Six legs. Mm. All right. Here are our legs. And then now we can start putting the legs on our praying mantis. So the way that I do it is I take it, I put it around once, and then I take it here, and then I twist it, okay? And put it in the back a little more. Take it here and twist it. And there's my first set of legs, okay? And then I go up and I take another one. I'm going to add it. Okay. And then more. Okay. Okay, and then now I have another set. So the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little yellow one that I have here and I'm gonna put that in between his eyes right there. and then spread like that. All right, how's yours coming along? Oh, good, yes, yes, nice, all right, okay, all right. All right, and so now, now we should be able, I'm gonna set it up. Now we should be able to take our coin battery, put it on the positive end and the negative end, And our praying mantis should light up. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at yours. Let me see yours, Zoe. I wasn't looking at the camera. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, good job, good job. Okay, so we can put that one to the side. Okay, and let me see. Oh, wait, I forgot. So look, let me show you. Here's what happens if I'll attach my switch. So my switch, if I put this on here. And then I put that on here. So if you have a switch that you make out of the out of the clothespin, you can then put your coin battery in there. And now you got the switch. All right, cool. All right. Okay, so let's go to making a bumblebee. All right. So for the bumblebee, you're going to need some black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow pipe cleaners. Okay. All right. And you're either going to need one of these, a pipe, uh, um, laundry pin, or you can use a popsicle stick. Now the body for the, the bee is gonna be shorter than that of the praying mantis. So with the popsicle stick, you might wanna take that and cut that in half if you have a pair of scissors. Um, we only have one popsicle stick. Oh, oh okay, okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, so I'll show you, I'll walk through this and show you how to do it if you want. So when you have one, you, you'll know how to do it, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna cut So I'm gonna score it here, there you go. And I got a little cut, okay? 
And then we're gonna do the same thing with the LEDs that we did before, okay? So you can walk through and build the other sets of LEDs if you want, and then that way when you have a popsicle stick, you have everything ready, that's up to you. All right, and then we're gonna take the wires, black and red, okay? And then I'm going to, oh, there they are. I'm gonna cut those. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut two more because we need two for each LED, remember? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna set those there and then we're gonna strip them. Okay, and flip them over and strip them on the other end. You see how fast I'm doing that? Can you strip wires that fast yet, Zoe? <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna wrap my red wire around the positive pole of the LED. Okay, I'm gonna bend it up some, keep it together, and then wrap it with a little electrical tape. Then the black around the pot, uh, the negative end of the pole, bend it up, bend it up, then wrap it up. Some tape here. Okay, that's one. Now we work on number two. Take my tape. There we go. And then one more piece of tape. And then finally my LEDs are done. Okay. All right, take our two LEDs, put them together. Okay, and then I'm going to take my black wires. I'm going to go ahead and put those together now so we don't have to do it later. Take my red wires and put those together. Okay, and now take your popsicle stick, take your eyeballs, and you put your eyeballs flat against the popsicle stick. And then you're gonna take a piece of tape and you're gonna secure that to the popsicle stick. Okay. And then you'll secure the second half and the bottom here as well.
Okay. And now we can take our pipe cleaners and start making the body. So I'm going to start off with three yellow. Three yellow. I'm going to cut them in half. Okay. Now take the first set of the three yellow and I'm going to start wrapping them around the head of the bumblebee. So down and around, wrapping it. all the way around like so. All right, and then I'm gonna take three black about the same size, same length. Cut those. And then you're gonna start with the black right behind the yellow, bending that down. And coming over, okay. Okay. And then we'll take the yellow. All right. Put the yellow right over the last part of the black. and then twist it around. Okay, like so. And then for the last part, I'm gonna take black and yellow. Whoops, to me pipe cleaners, black and yellow again. So one black, one yellow, one black, one yellow. Cut those. Okay. And then I'll finish it off like so. Okay, and there's the bumblebee. And then I would take one little black one and then give it a little bit of a black stripe here, so. Take that and put that there and then twist it. And there's the first leg for your bumblebee. And you take another one, twist it. There's the second set of legs for your bumblebee. Like so, okay. And then we get one more to make the last set of legs for our bumblebee. I'm going to have to cut it. I don't have another one that's that size already. Okay. And there we go. All right. So I got legs. All right. One thing missing. What's missing on my bumblebee? What do I need? Wings. wings, 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 great. All right, so here's what I do with the wings. Now you can use the same color if you want or you can use different colors. I'm gonna use yellow in this case and I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm gonna cut it in half, okay? And then I take this one like that and twist the very ends so it stays together like that. 
And then I'm gonna take this one and do the same thing. Twist the very ends, okay? All right. All right, and then we have to take those, put them together like that, all right? Let's see if I can back that up a little. Okay, there we go. Put them together like that, and then take a small black one, about that size, and then put it through the loop here, and then twist it, so it's like that. And then you take this part, and just wrap it around, wrap it around. And hold it like that. Twist it. And now we got a little bumblebee, all right? And then it should light up, let's see. Here's my coin battery. I'm gonna take that, put that on my positive, then put that on my negative, and then boom! Oh. <laughs> all right, there we go, yay, we made it. We got through two of them. Okay, good job, good job. All right, do you guys have any questions? Oh, let me see, let me see. No, you have any questions? All right, good, 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 yeah, that looks good, that looks good. All right, you guys did a great job. Well, those are some big wire cutters. <laughs> so how's everything going for you? You good? Okay, all right. You guys aren't going crazy, staying cooped up in the house yet? No. 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 <laughs> all right. Good, good. So um, now you have you have the skills to make these. I'd be really interested to see some of the other cool stuff that you can make. Like I've been thinking about making like a tarantula. So I think I'm gonna try to work on a tarantula because I love tarantulas, right? You guys know I love those, love yeah. those guys. So maybe you can try working and making your own um, insects, your own favorite insects, or you can even don't they don't have to be insects. You can use them to make other things as well. Um, and you can use a combination of the squishy circuits and the, uh, the, the circuit bugs that we made to create something new and all together. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, okay. Uh, hope to see you soon, okay. Stay safe, all right. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye everyone, bye-bye. Have a nice